Hey guys and welcome to season three, episode three of my FIFA 22 Rooster on Crow mode. And in, as you can see, we're currently unbeaten. And in this episode, we'll start off again with a game against uh, Union Berlin. But we also have games against Gladbach, the final group stage game, and Bayern Munich. In this episode, we will play because they're currently second, two points behind us. We'll also go into the January transfer window where there's something I want to do in that window, which you'll probably either see in the thumbnail, the title, or just later in the episode. So let's not waste any time, but first of all, uh, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, check out the playlist, leave a comment, etc. Do all, the, uh, do all the usual stuff you do. And yeah, let's get into this first game against Union Berlin, which was similar to the second team. Okay, I was going to sim this game, but actually I'm going to end up playing it. So I want to use the second team, because I've ne never actually used this. I've not used the second team in a while, actually, now I think about it. I want to test out some of these players. Obviously, we've got Makoko up front, 89 pace, looks... Very good, five star weak foot. On the bench, who do I want to take with me? Don't need cobble, probably. It's not as good as Maya, as in uh, Maya's not as good as cobble, but it's still a decent player. I'll take Adiami as well, I think. Yeah, I'll take Adiami as well. We actually need a centre back now, I think about it. Got Emery Chan actually, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, take Emery Chan, we'll take Adiami. And that'll be the uh, team we're going with. This will be the team we go in with up against uh, Union Berlin, so let's get into it. As you can see, there's a side on the right hand side. And let's get into this game. Coco getting behind there. Okay, can you take a good touch with your head? Yes, you can. Can you hit that? Yes, you can, and it's in. But Coco scores. Blasts it past the keeper. It's a good ball there from Dahoud. Good flick on with his head. Keeper doesn't come out. And it blasts it near post. And the keeper can't react in time. It's a good goal, but one up. Makoko, half volley, good save. We're running off in this corner. Can he find a head of a Dortmund player? Zagadu is the target, and Zagadu wins it, and it's in. Zagadu has had a great game defensively, puts his 2 0 up here. A bullet header into the back of the net. It was touched in by the keeper. Granted, he did parry it and it hit, I think it hit the side netting on the post before going in. But it's still a great header from him. Too much power on the header for the keeper to save it. It's parried into the side net. 2 0 up here. And it looks like we're going to come to a comfortable win in the end. Okay, Adam's got now. I'll showcase his dribbling capabilities. Let's see, really can he? Can fire a striker, and that's a great goal from the Danish winger. That is world class on the ball of capabilities there, and then there's shot as well. That is why I brought him in his capabilities. He's finally starting to show that properly. You see here, cuts inside. Little touch inside, shoots across goal and that's a great shot and a great goal ok just covering passing lines there trying to get an interception in one minute added on and the one minute is over it's a 3-0 no win continue on our beat and run great game and a great win let's continue the episode and get towards that Bayern Munich game. Okay, I'll send the final group stage game, and you can see we've got a 1 1 draw with Zagreb. So let's move on to the game against Hertha uh, Her Berlin and Gladbach, which are going to sim. And I'm going to play the uh, Munich game and then do the general transfer window. We'll probably either end here or in February or later on, wherever we end up. We'll see. Let's continue the episode. Now, this is one thing I wanted to mention, which is our. Slightly touched upon, well, not really touched upon, but I mentioned in the last game, was Zagadu exactly playing very well, scoring and playing very good at centre back. That I was considering not doing it. Is that Zagadu exactly has been let go by Dortmund in real life? They have not given him any contracts so as a free agent, which is something I was kind of surprised by, because he played 19 times last season for them, I believe, at centre back. And he looks like a promising talent, but with um, you know, Sula Slotbeck coming in, I don't think he'll get the game time. Behind, you know, a Kanji 
and uh, Matt Summers. But I'm going to reject this offer, offer up against uh, Liverpool because I want to just think about it more. And uh, well, we'll see what my decision is as it gets towards January. The second team is going to be in action again here up against Hertha Berlin. Let's hope they can continue their good form and get a winner and continue our unbeaten run. We do. Mikko Damsgaard gets another goal. And a 1 0 win. Let's get towards the Gladbach game. So in this game against Gladbach here, we pick up a 2 0 win. Gio Reyna and Makoko getting goals. We get sit players Gladbach. Now let's get into the game up against Bayern Munich. Now here we are, the game against uh, Bayern Munich, who have a makeshift side, as you can tell, Thomas Pye and Harry Maguire playing that position, and uh, Sabitzer as well. But still, some good players in that team. And now we have bested and come up short against this team in this uh, chroma so far. We've lost to them, we've beaten them. We've beaten them to the league title last season, obviously. But in the end, they beat us in the Champions League final, which was uh, disappointing. Now, the team I'm going to play is the one that you just saw. Making sure the bench is all correct. Yes, it is. This is the bench I'm going to go with for this game. And that is the uh, Bayern Munich game. So let's get into this one and hope for a win. And let's hope that Bayern Munich don't turn into the prime version of their team they once were. That was interesting to compare and contrast the pre season predictions with the actual reality of the situation. And I won the lock already. Is that Musiala? I got the goal? I'm not too sure. Yes, it was. Musiala. Got Spy Munich one up. And I thought I could have stopped him there. Maybe I should have been more aggressive with the pressing. But I thought I could get. I believe it was. Sula over in time. Yes, it was. Poor there from. Eric Mukiele. Was a good strike from the German. And I won the upper. Poor goalkeeper on Cobble as well. So I'm gonna, it might work. Is it working out? Is it going to work out? No, Alfonso Davies is catching up. Lima looks a good turn inside. Lima, Damsgaard. It's a great goal. I mean, Adiemi into Damsgaard. But I don't expect to score from that chance. Especially when I saw Alfonso Davies chasing down. Come back Lima. I thought, well, he's going to get a challenge in here. We're going to lose the ball. That's the end of it. But a good turn inside. Catches him off guard, you see there. A pass into Adiemi. And he plays it over to Damsgaard, he's just about on side and he taps it in. The side foots into the side of the net. Continues his goal scoring. It's great work from the uh, Danish uh, winger. Adiyemi now. What is that cross? Uh, so 1-1 one, one draw here, but at least we keep our unbeaten record, but that cross should have been better from Pedersen there. Heads up Sula and Baku are injured for long. Let's check the injury. Hit the injuries and move into the January chance window. Injury here, and lucky Baku will only be out for 5 days with a bruised shoulder, so we don't have to make any changes in the window. In that position. Now this is a contract I'm going to off. Uh, Lacroix here, AK and wages, I hope that isn't too low. That he's not going to walk out, we'll see how we let's submit. And a five year deal, will LaCroix accept? And he has, LaCroix is now a Dortmund player. If I got a transfer from Roma, he's now our new centre back. He's gonna come back here with a, we're gonna ask for 42 and a half million for the French centre back. And Real Betis are willing to pay that. As you can see here, Zagadu has made the switch to Real Betis and get 38 million at the 42 million pound, 42 and a half million pound uh, euro, I keep saying pounds, euro uh, deal. So now I'm going to give Lacroix the number five and he's now the main backup centre back, I guess, behind uh, ahead of Ushkovic. Oh, two emails here. Collins has been uh, loaned out to Colne for two years. But here, as you can see, West Ham have uh, hit the 130 million pound, no, 130 million euro release because of Pulisic. So this is a big spanner in the works, and uh, as you can see here from the player chat, Pulisic um, doesn't see his future here anymore. Obviously, I could keep him by offering him a new contract. 
But you know what? I'm gonna let it happen. It's, it's gonna be a big play for us to lose. But I, I know who I want to bring in, and you'll see if that deal does go through. And it'll be a big signing for us, and we'll probably just take us to that next step. Maybe he'll just give us what Pulisic doesn't really have in the finishing capabilities. So that's a sinful and see if it moves to West Ham. But before that, we have a game here up against uh, Mainz here, which we're going to sim with the second team. Mainz currently sitting, uh, sitting ninth, and uh, Lacroix is going to make his debut up against uh, the German side. We're going to pick him a 3 0 win with uh, Makoko scoring. Royce and Sebastian Haller. And as you can see here, Christian Pulisic has made the huge switch over to West Ham for 130 million euros and a four year contract. Now, obviously, we earned, I think, did we bring him in last season or this season? I'm not too sure. But the American leaves Dortmund for the second time back to the Premier League. Now it's time to bring in his replacement. Now I mentioned this transfer earlier in the season in, in the uh, career mode. I think it was season one. I mentioned this that maybe we'll bring back Jonas Sancho. He's uh, showing better form than he did last season at uh, United this season. Obviously, we have sold a couple of players to United in Donya Marlin and Guerrero, so we have a working relationship with the club. So maybe we can strike a deal here. It would cost us a lot of money, but we have a lot of money. So let's see if Jaden Sancho is willing to return to the Signal Arjuna Park. I'm going to reply off, uh, offered 130 but they requested 142, I'm going to reply with 132, so we'll say to that, and they're willing to accept 132. Raf Rangic is willing to let Jaden Sancho go for that much. But before I go into the contract and uh, make this a signing, I'm just going to think about another player I could bring in and show you that. Another player I could bring in. Is gonna do it here without um, a cut. Is this man? The other English um, uh, winger playing for Man United, Marcus Rashford. Now Rashford here is cheaper because he's older. He's lower rated as well. They are similar players. I, I say Jadon Sancho is more of a technical player than uh, than Marcus Rashford. Both good finishing capabilities. I feel like Rashford is more of a striker, in my opinion. I feel like he, at this point, should be more of a striker in his career. As you can see, Rashford would be cheaper. Ah, I don't, which one do I want to do? No, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Jadon Sancho, bringing him back to signal Junior Park. And I can use Rashford in another Chromat if I want to. He's a player I want to use. So that's a hash out the contract there. Obviously, a crucial first team player will be. And a five year deal, okay. A huge re you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make that just a little bit more. You know what? You know, there's no point me adding a release clause in this contract because this season will probably be the last one. Let's just do that. And he's offered his the wages he wants. Let's uh, submit that again. And Jaden Sancho is returning to Dortmund. There we go. Jaden Sancho takes his spot in this team. Now it's the front line with Baku, Adiemi, and Sancho. We'll kind of miss Pulisic on the left hand side, but let's see how well uh, Sancho is going to do for his. We are going to play one more game in this episode against uh, Gladbach, a team we simmed and beat 3 now, I believe it was. But Sancho makes his uh, return in this game. Let's not waste any time, let's get straight into this and hope for a good game. Okay, Gladbach looked dangerous here, didn't get over. We get that clear and we somehow get forced to Gregor Cobble. That isn't the way I thought that was going to end, I'm going to lie. Mikiele, kind of hope Baku would uh, back him up there. No pun intended. Pedersen now, hit that, why not? Oh, and that would have been a Pushkas Award winner. 
That is a right back, ladies and gentlemen, with that strike. That was incredible. I kind of hope that went in. It's kind of, uh, I hoped, I wish that went in, actually. That's what I meant to say. Bellingham gets back in defence well there. Pedersen. And we concede. Well, we almost score at one end with Pedersen and he gets the ball away at the other end and we concede. It's where the world works, I guess. See there, it's a poor, poor mistake and then I'm not sure how it's just as open as he is. I'm not sure how Slotback or Sula isn't marking him. But it's a great finish in the end and I won a lot. We're forward Baku now. Baku goes it alone. And it's saved. I thought I was just about to creep in. On the corner now, Royce whips it in. Royce, Sancho. There's a man leaning towards it. Got back here from range. Great work from Lima. And Bellingham get the ball away. Bellingham down to Sancho. Sancho inside. Sancho sees the runner Bellingham and Bellingham right foot strike off the crossbar right foot back to Bellingham and this time he puts it into the top corner and we're level Jude Bellingham the Englishman gets a great goal there after hitting the crossbar on the second attempt headed back into him by Baku I believe it was it's half volley is it you see the header bounce half volley into the, cock, uh, the top corner. What a great finish that was. You see there, incredible power, incredible technique, and we're back level. Little Sancho here making a decent run. Sancho now. Cut back inside, chasing down by Fafana. Was challenged there, but we'll keep the ball, luckily. Sancho now, driving inside. Can he shoot? Yes, he can, and we go 2 1 up. And Sancho, 40 minutes in, gets his first goal back at Dortmund. And if that's how he means to continue, then I'm happy he's joined. See here, good cut inside, good dribbling, and a good strike. Keeper probably should save it near post. He has a close sight on the ball, but he's just poor positioning, and it just opens up a bit too much of the goal, and Sancho finds the gap. Michele, okay, you didn't really get a good enough touch on that. Sula, come with Lima and Sula there pressing and they get the ball. Bending him up to Royce. Royce over the top to Sancho. What can Sancho do with this? Get back inside, yes he can. Finesse, yes he can. And it's the second. And what I've, I, may, I think, I'm not sure if that was a great finish or poor goalkeeping. We'll see on the replay. As you can see, good touch, cut inside. Then the finesse into the far corner, I believe it was. See if the keeper should have saved it here. I don't know. I can't really tell from that angle. Needed the front view angle where the ball, you know, you can see the front of the keeper. And nevertheless, we're 3 1 up here. It's about to go into half time. And there it is, half time. Sancho now. Can he get an assist? Over to Baku. And Baku blasts it wide. And it's going to conclude. Sula up against Ilicic. And it's a 3 1 victory. Sancho with a double on his debut and two great goals. He was incredible. And let's hope he continues that into the rest of the season. Let's end this episode off here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next. Well, I'm not going to end it here. But we're going to go back to the menu and end it there. The similar DFB Pokal quarterfinal with the second team up against uh, Hoffenheim. Here's who picked up a 2 1 victory. Gia Reyna and uh, Baku getting the light goals. Which sends us through to the semi finals, and let's end off deadline day. And that'll be the end of the episode with us ending it on the 1st of January. Okay, well, that's going to call it for this episode. We remain unbeaten in the Bundesliga. And one episode it's been a shock transfer of Pulisic to West Ham and Jaden Sancho returning to Dortmund and in his debut scoring a brace. 
so it couldn't have gone any better I guess as you can see we're the best defence in the league which is something I've been working towards for a long time in this Chrome if you watch most of the episodes especially season 1 and 2 you'll know our defence especially in season 1 wasn't really the greatest so it's great to see that we're doing well defensively and hopefully I haven't, I haven't just cursed it yeah I'll see you guys in the next one which will make huge progress with our Champions League round of 16 games obviously in quarter finals probably an episode depending on who we face we might have some league action in the next episode so don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, check the playlist you'll see at the end of the video which will be the uh, rest of the series if you're interested in going back and watching season 1 and 2 and the uh, rest of season 3, I'd recommend you do because some uh, big things happen and you can catch up on the story that has um, gone on so far. So yeah, see you guys in the next one, thank you for watching and goodbye.